G'day, hope you're all doing well, and welcome back to Vincimus. What we're going to do is cover the patch notes for 0.12, more maps, new planes, cockpits, engine temp, and other cool additions. First up, let's take a look at the new maps introduced and remade for this patch. We're expanding on the European theatre with more hilly terrain so you can duck and take cover from anti-air fire or when you need to sneak up on an enemy ground target. With the theatre's focus dealing in dogfights against German aircraft at high altitudes, protecting bombers through heavy flak zones, to destroying supply trains making a dash to tunnels. With this patch, it'll be adding a total of three new maps and changes to two currently existing maps, with lighting changes and new shadows for the player and ground. A new variant of the Spitfire has been added to the game with a complete cockpit. The Spitfire Mark 5B was one of the early Spitfires that was able to turn the tide against the Germans in Europe, as well as the Japanese when they attacked Australia. Equipped with four 7.7mm and two 20mm Hispanos by default, cannons are capable of killing larger targets and other fighters in a couple of shots, with 7.7s as a backup with over a thousand rounds. We also have two hidden yet unlockable aircraft that are more for funny bonus aircraft, complete their respective mission and unlock them with one holding two 40mm Vicar cannons and another using a 75mm pack. A new addition to the gameplay is engine temperature for player aircraft. With this addition, anything over 100% engine power is counted as war emergency power, also known as WEP. When using WEP, aircraft engine and oil temperature will slowly increase, going into yellow and then into a red state, having an overheating warning. When you stay in the red, your health will slowly take damage and your WEP will be reduced. Alright, some smaller changes that I believe should be noted is 1. AI aircraft in general has been nerfed, with the top speed and acceleration reduced by half. Shooting range for AI has also been reduced to a maximum of 1.2km based on caliber. Shrapnel damage and fire rate of flak anti-air has also been reduced. Second, damage changes for player weapons 20mm and above got a 20 damage increase and the armor on AI bombers also got reduced to improve low caliber weapon damage on larger targets. Fourth, Vincimus now supports changing of resolution and supports 16x9, 16x10 and 4x3 resolutions. A new option has also been added for Vincimus so it can play in the background or pause when tabbed out. And lastly, fifth, new options for Imperial and Metric Measurements has been added as an option. This will be all for today's video and Devlog 17. Hit the like button, subscribe, check out Vincemus on Steam, and for those that wish to support me with development, please check out my Patreon page, it really means a lot. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.